You can almost feel the disappointment of a nation just hanging in the air today, can't you? I'm the winner, you're the loser. That's a parent. <laughs> you don't know whether to feel proud or a little bit embarrassed. Well, here on Sky News, we're tracking every twist and turn in the search for flight MH370. John Noble, if I can start with you, the focus of the search we know is in this area, this remote corner of the Indian Ocean, with now a third satellite image we've just heard yes. in the last few hours from the French, possibly the same debris that's been spotted in two previous satellite images. From what you know about the area, about the currents, what is the likelihood, do you think, that these are the same objects? Good evening, you join us live here in Stratford overlooking the Olympic Park. After seven years in the planning, the London 2012 Games are about to begin. Now, one of the big moves announced today was the change of job for Michael Gove. Until this morning, he was the Education Secretary, but now he has been appointed Chief Whip. Well, he joins us live now from Westminster. Very good evening to you, Mr Gove. Thanks for being with us. So tell us how the conversation went when you were told by the Prime Minister about your new job. Um, well, it was naturally a wrench to leave uh, being Education Secretary. How does it make you feel when teaching unions say there will be thousands of teachers who, when they heard the news this lunchtime in staff rooms across the country, would have cheered that you're no longer Education Secretary? Now, each Sunday at this time, we take a look at the big stories and the big issues in crime this week. Well, we're going to start with the delicate but crucial art of e-fits, which can frequently unlock crimes and uncover criminals. So there are many times when police are faced with horrific crimes, but they can't identify those responsible. Samantha Simmons was up close and personal witnessing all that. Samantha, what did you make of that? Well, the crowds have been rewarded for their patience. Not one, but two kisses. People have been waiting all night for this. Two of those people are Angela and her daughter Nicole. Was it worth the wait? Sir Bruce Forsyth has announced he is stepping down as the presenter of Strictly Come Dancing. I'm pleased to say he joins me on the line now. Very good evening to you, Sir Bruce. So after 10 years on the hit show, why now? Hello, Samantha. It's nice to talk to you, my darling. Well, why now? Well, you see, you've got to always know in show business, you have to know when is the time to leave anything. News readers, you maybe even do it yourself when you're reading the news, sometimes get a bit tongue-tied. But if you do it on live television, it's, they make a big thing of it. Slip-ups on Sky News, never, Sir Bruce. Now tell me after... <laughs> I do give you all that. I've seen you. <laughs> Sir Bruce, a pleasure to talk to you, and it's great to know that we'll continue to see you on our screens in other projects. Thank you. It's very kind of you, Samantha. Now, thank you for making it so easy. <laughs> thank you. All right, bye-bye. What a pro. Well, there must be something in the air.